Mark Harmon is a very popular actor and has been for many years now. Ever since he began acting in NCIS as the ever popular Leroy Gibbs, Harmon has skyrocketed to fame. Over the years, he has gained a legion of fans that follow his roles in his career. However, this happened with his family, which changed his life forever. So stay tuned to today's video as we discuss the sacrifice Harmon made for his family. First up, Mark Harmon made the ultimate sacrifice for his family, and he wouldn't have it any other way. Mark Harmon is easily the biggest actor to come out of NCIS and has gained a legion of fans over his years of acting in the role. As a result of all of this, fans want to know everything about his life that they can, but Harmon specifically kept many things secret from everyone online and in the public eye. Mark is married to fellow actress Pam Dauber, and the pair are parents to two fully grown sons by the name of Sean and Ty. He keeps his family life very private from the public eye, but in the rare few interviews that Mark has given over his time, he shared small details about his relationship with his wife and children. He even previously detailed the ultimate sacrifice that he made for them revolving around his ongoing career. At one point in his career, Mark Harmon had the opportunity to become a massive movie star just after his children were born and went out to shoot a new film in New Guinea. However, when contemplating whether to leave his family behind and head off to become a bigger actor, he realized that his family were much more important to him than being a massive star. Therefore, Harmon turned down the role and stayed at home with his young children and his wife. At one point in his life, he almost missed a huge milestone in his son's childhood as a result of being away acting, which was when he realized that he had to decide on the ultimate factor when it came to what he was going to prioritize. He told CBS News that he had been away and had arrived at the airport home to see his little boy walking on his own. He realized that he had missed his son's first steps, and that is where he broke. He recalled telling his wife that he isn't going to be doing any movies in New Guinea for the rest of his life to be able to afford the house that they are currently in because he will miss all of this. Mark didn't go on to make any more movies, but instead, landed his role on NCIS. This role would lead him to the biggest part of his career, but the role was also close to his home in Los Angeles. This gave him a stable job for many years and allowed him to stay with his family when they needed him the most. He also created an adoring fan base that we still have to this day, and they have recently come out to respect Mark Harmon for his decision on staying away from his movie career. Harmon made the right decision and stayed with his wife and kids rather than leaving and becoming a huge movie star and missing out on everything he had hoped to be as a father. NCIS also became a family affair for Mark as well, as both his wife and his son have appeared in the series at some point during its two-decade-long run. Back in October of 2021, Mark officially left NCIS, leaving his character behind for now. He left fans of the series extremely devastated as he departed in the 19th season of the popular series. However, he isn't gone forever, as Gibbs might eventually come back for some sort of role towards the end of the series. In another interview, Mark Harmon also went on to open up about his decision decision to leave NCIS almost a year after leaving the show. This was a special feature that was featured on the season 19 DVD release. He sat down to talk about the legacy of Gibbs and what the character has meant to him over all these long years. He also spoke about his thoughts on how the show wrapped up his storyline and admitted that the opportunity to tackle new and challenging material was what kept him returning every season of the drama. He alluded that the possibility of him staying just wasn't there due to the storylines that was being provided with. However, Harmon will still serve as a co-executive on the project and will continue to help out with the NCIS team until the show runs its course. It's nice to see Harmon fully accept that he needs to leave the role, but still stick around to help provide for the project that he so dearly loves. Please let us know in the comments section below your thoughts on NCIS, as well as what Mark Harmon did to make sure his family was safe and okay with him. He might have given up an acting career, but he stayed around and helped his family through some of their toughest times. In the end, this led to his biggest role and made him as popular as he would ever have been as a movie star. And now, on to some other NCIS news and information to wrap up today's video. Next up, NCIS LA's Daniela Rua admits a huge change she wishes she could make to Kenzie Bly. One of the most beloved elements of the wildly successful NCIS franchise has been Kenzie Bly, played by Daniela Rua. She has spent well over a decade on NCIS Los Angeles and its task force. She has become the most popular character in the spin-off series and has been carrying it for a long time. However, However, recently she opened up about her high-profile TV role and admitted to CBS that there is still room for a lot more improvement around the character. She also went on to tease some major developments for her character, as well as her unstable family life in the upcoming seasons of the television drama. Daniela appeared in this interview and revealed her hopes for her character as she wants her to improve her relationship with her mother in upcoming seasons of NCIS Los Angeles. This seems to be a huge part of contention when it comes to her role as the character, as she wants to see some more development with this
this side of the story. Julie Feldman, Laura Herring, was originally introduced back in the third season of the hit spin-off series and has since made various appearances over the years in a very sporadic manner. She's not the most consistent character that appears, but when she shows up, you know that something is about to happen. She therefore made several guest appearances throughout the season and was last seen in just a single episode towards the end of its 10th season. She more consistently appeared in the 8th season, but hasn't been around for a while. Daniela said that she wishes she could change the relationship between her character and her mother. This was confirmed when Daniela was asked about one thing she would change in her ongoing character. I would attempt to make it a more healthy relationship. It started rocky for her when she was a kid. Like many NCIS agents in the franchise, Kenzie has a rather dark backstory that has been slowly revealed to fans over the years. Kenzie's story is like, her father was murdered, and she ran away from home and lived on the streets for a while, she explained. She gained this fierce independence, and she's self-reliable and all that stuff. Unfortunately, however, her independence has meant that throughout the season, she rarely makes any time for her mother, from whom she is still pretty estranged. On the Wayne Ayers podcast, Daniela continued her answer about her character and said that the relationship with her mother was very rocky. At some point, she hopes that her character goes home and tries to be close to her mother. This might be the ending of the character by the time NCIS Los Angeles comes to an end. It doesn't seem like something you could throw in the middle of a season, as her character would still need to be dealing with cases. If the actress ever wanted to leave the series or the show is coming to an end, this would be the perfect way to wrap up her storyline, as she could be fixing her ongoing relationship with her mother. She went on to suggest that her mother-in-law, Roberta Deeks, might be the shining example of her character if she continues to visit her son Marty more in the future seasons. They're okay but I think I would like to explore maybe really creating a healthy relationship, Daniela added. It's really fun having Deeks' mom on the show, and I adore her. I think Kenzie has started welcoming her in, and she loves when she is there. She's very helpful, a sort of advising mom. I'd love Kenzie's mom to also have that with Kenzie. Deeks' mother Pamela has become a regular fixture on the series, having now appeared in 13 episodes over the past five seasons. She has only made two appearances in season 14 so far, and the latest outing started exploring the agent's personal personal lives in much deeper detail. Perhaps with her courage, his mother can take a leaf out of Roberta's book and start making more visits to her daughter and her daughter's son. It seems like NCIS Los Angeles is delving much deeper into the personal lives of all of the characters, which is perfect for a series that has gone so long. For a show like NCIS Los Angeles, not delving deep into the characters' pasts and personal lives for so long might have been a detriment, but fans are loving the new inclusion in the latest season. The original NCIS went pretty deep into the backstories of all of the characters and their personal lives, as this was how they wrapped up several of the stories as the actors wanted to leave. In terms of NCIS Los Angeles, it has been going on for a good amount of time, but not as long as the original series. If they do want to wrap up some character storylines and put more depth into each of their backstories, this will allow the actors to have an easier exit in the future. All they had to do was bring up some of the details from their past and lead them off into a new life away from NCIS. What do you think about all of this? Let us know in the comments below. And that's all we have to discuss NCIS, Mark Harmon, and his career in today's video. Please let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Hopefully, you enjoyed this latest video. If you did, would you please let us know in the comments section below? It would be very helpful. Make sure to like the video, comment down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel with the notification bell rung. Thank you for watching.